good morning everyone today we will discuss about what is capitalist economy of a country how does capitalist economy is working see uh, this capitalist economy have certain characteristics features to understand that better here i have given a simple definition uh, capitalist economy is defined as a production activities are mainly carried out by private enterprises here who will be the owner of the means of production means private enterprises and production takes place for selling the output so why they are producing to sell it got it here in a capitalist economy everything is mainly carried out by a capitalist enterprises that is private enterprises that means private people here a typical capitalist enterprises has one or several entrepreneurs will be there one or more entrepreneurs will be there and the entrepreneurs will be uh, controlling over major decision in this capitalist kind of economy and along with that it is also associated with the risk factor so whatever the risk comes the private people only have to bear it so whatever the risk happening in the firm for example i invested 1 crore rupees and in that 1 crore rupees there is no benefit means the loss is obtained only by me okay the loss is incurred only for me that is risk associated so they may themselves supply the capital supply whatever and if they wanted a capital capital in the sense like uh, building or uh, money investment for investment all that whatever comes under the capital it is supplied by themselves if i have money i can invest on my business or i can borrow the capital i have a two options i can borrow the money from the bank i can take a loan also right so here to carry out the production they also need natural resources okay they need the most important element is labor as we all know that to carry out the production we need the main factors of production so the factors of production are land labor capital organization that is nothing but entrepreneur so land means it is a gift of nature that means gift of nature means nature is not going to uh, give us because now all the land is prized okay or natural resource not created by human effort it is there okay land is there but we have to purchase it we have to buy it then we need a capital uh, furnitures to make furnitures or uh, to buy any gadgets to buy any machineries to uh, per- make a building we need a capital that is money then labor any kind of a work the labor will do the work okay to uh, labor is required to make the work complete okay so uh, here we call it as uh, human labor to carry out the production this is called as a labor so after producing output with the help of uh, land labor and capital the entrepreneur sell the entrepreneur will be selling the output once the land labor and capital when all come together and uh, Uh, they initiate the work after initiating the work the entrepreneur will get the output and that output will be put for a sale and uh, what is the money they earn it is called as a revenue for a seller so the part of the revenue is paid out as a now what is the output sold by the entrepreneur is called as revenue income so this income a part is paid out as rent okay here i have given what is the reward paid for the factors for the land what is paid means rent is paid okay so this revenue has been distributed in several part for the land rent is paid for the labor wages is paid for the capital the interest is paid 
and the remaining part what we have whatever the remaining part it will go to the entrepreneur it will go to the organization as a profit okay so this is the this is how the revenue is segregated and it is given so profits are often used by the producer so this profit will be used by the producers for the purpose of next period to buy the new machinery or to build a new factories so that production can be expanded still more so these expenses which raise productive capacity are examples of the investment expenditure okay now here we have about still more about this capitalism so there are two classes business owners so owners will be there workers will be there in the capitalist economy so these are the capitalist that means capitalist means entrepreneurs owners and these people are the workers okay so the workers will be working for the owners two classes of people in the capitalist economy one is uh, owners and the other one is workers so these are the capitalist class and this is the working class so the for the capitalist what is the main thing means profit so they are motivated by the profit and in the capitalist economy the government intervention will not be there there will be no government intervention and this competitive market willingness to change here the market is they have more competitions okay in the capitalist economy there will be more competitions and they will be going for changes innovations now uh, uh, one example i'll give you like uh, a telephone so earlier time and all the telephones were uh, like a very old model and there is a uh, as the generation passes the new mobile phones so many features every year every month there is a new features are added to the mobile phone so what is happening innovations earlier and all to buy one mobile it cost about 30000 50000 25000 but now even for 500 rupees 1000 rupees we get one phone at uh, okay also that uh, whatever the features we have in a uh, good good mobile that we get for a uh, 5000 rupees only so what happened there was a uh, more competition and uh, the entrepreneurs go for the changes this is what about the capitalist economy and here one point i want to do say so here we have a wage rate so what is wage rate means it is there is a sale and uh, purchase so who will sell producer will sell who will purchase consumer will purchase so the sale and purchase of labor services at price it is called as a wage rate once again i'll repeat now labor so for example i am a labor i'm working in a institution okay in a teaching institution so who is demanded me means the institution the organization have demanded who supplied me means from my household so they sold and these people have purchased for a price it is called as a wage rate okay and in the capitalism everything these labors are working for the price so these workers comes from household household supply the labor and uh, producers are demanding the labor for price that is called as a wage rate this is about the capitalist economy the working of the economy of a capitalist country okay so next we will move towards how the role of the government and the role of the household sector in both developed and developing countries we will see one by one okay see here first we'll see the role of the government sector okay see in in both the developed and developing countries apart from the capitalist sector apart from the capitalist sector so earlier i told you capitalist country means the country which is the production means are carried out by the private entrepreneurs private people so apart from the private okay well, previously what we discussed that, that is about the capitalist sector here i am not talking about the capitalist sector the role of the government okay 
in the capitalist economy there will be no intervention of the government but here the government intervention is there okay so there is the institution that is called as a state that a state is nothing but the role of the state includes what is the role played by the government okay the role of the state includes framing laws so it frames laws and enforcing them and delivering them a justice the state here refers to so who is the state here it is the government so state state means uh, we are not talking about karnataka state tamil nadu state here the state is represented in the form of government okay which performs the various developmental functions so here the government is performing various developmental functions for the society as whole here the government is undertaking so many tasks in a whole thing so whatever it is doing what the government is doing the government is undertaking the many production activities many production areas it is undertaking for example the government is imposing the tax so it imposes the tax and spending money one one side the government collects the money another side the government spending the money collecting the money it is called as a tax spending the money for what purpose and all it is spending the money for example building the public infrastructure so many infrastructure facilities for example road facilities light facilities water facilities okay dams bridges transportation so these are all the infrastructure so to construct the infrastructure to building the infrastructure facilities and the government want to run the schools and providing the health services these economic functions of the state have to be taken into account when we want to describe the economy of the country so these activities and all this production activities and all who is carrying out means it is undertaken by the government okay these are all the roles of the government next we will see what is the role of the household sector okay here we have the household sector and what is the work the household sector is doing by household we mean a single individual either it may be a single individual or who takes decision relating to all okay own consumption or a group of individuals for whom the decision relating to the consumptions are jointly determined so what one household do everybody do in the same manner okay so here households they take the decision how household consists of the people in every households the people are there in our family father mother son daughter children okay everybody included grandpa grandma so many people are included it consists of people in the household who is consisted the people are consisted together it is called as a household these people work in firms so the household whoever are there in the household they work in a firms they work in firms and they work in a, a government sector they work in different places in the primary sector in the secondary sector in the tertiary sector these people work in the firms as a workers and earn a wages so these people get the people who are who is having a land they get a rent who is having they are giving the labor they get the wages who are investing in the business they get the interest and those who are the entrepreneurs they'll get the profit so all this are from some other uh, uh, planet no they are all living in the earth so the in this earth it consisted of many households there are many households from this place only these are the ones who work in a government departments and earn salaries or they are the owners of the firms and earn the profits therefore the market in which the firms sell their products could not have been functioning without the demand coming from the household so whatever here the entrepreneurs are producing the product that product has been put for sale so when the producers put the commodity for sale who is purchasing the households are purchasing it 
and who is demanding households are demanding the good okay households demands the good further they also earn rent by leasing land or earn the interest in lending capital so these are the role of the household sector in the both developed and developing economy by this the first chapter is over from part b introduction to macro economics if you have any doubts related to the topic you can contact me and from tomorrow onwards i'll start up with the part b second chapter thank you for watching